Hello, here we are again, Robin the Sudoku guy, with yet another tutorial. This time we're going to call it a triangle within a block. And it's a neat little trick to learn. You may not need to use it that much because puzzles like this one are pretty easy. You could probably do it without this technique, but the time may come where you'll be very lucky because you knew another trick to try. So here we go. Let's find a triangle within a block. And I've got on this particular puzzle that I've designed, this particular block here has a triangle of three numbers. See the triangle shape? That's what I mean by a triangle within a block. We're looking at these three empty cells and these three empty cells. These three are going to relate to what's over here and these three are going to relate to what's down in here. So, with that in mind, here comes the most important thing to know. When you've got a 4, 5, 6 in here, the 4, 5, 6 has to be either here or there, and the 4, 5, 6 has to be either here or there. Let's try the column first. We need to have a 4, 5, and 6 in here. Now, it just so happens we've got 1, 2, three spaces, so that means that four, five, and six are going to go in those three. That works out really well. Here we have a four, six. So the five obviously goes here. Now that we've got the five, and that fits here, right, left, center, and now that we have the five, we have a four, five, there has to be a six. Wow. Here we go, we're going to put a, well here's a 5, 6, because that means that that's a 4. And the only other place for a 6 to go is there. So we've now completely filled that column from there to there using what was in here. Now let's look at something else. If I look carefully at um, this, these three here, there's got to be a 2, 7 in there. There's no 2, 7 down here. There's a 2, 7 here on this top. Therefore, that has to be a matching 2, 7 matching pair. With a 7 there, this will become a 2. And this will become your 7. Now you've only got one left. But before I put go any further, now let's look at these three uh, empty cells. And along here we need to find a 2, a 4 and a 5 and a 6. Let me see, do we have a 4? We have a 4 and a 6. We can't use any of the, put anything in here because it's already there. We have a 4 and a 6, so we'd need to put a 5 somewhere and the only cell left in that whole row that's not included here has to be here. Isn't that neat? Now, once we've done that, it's very easy for us to, because we've got this row, there's only three cells left there, we can fill it in. And what are the numbers now? Uh, th three, oh, you go in here. Three, uh, one, and eight, I think. Okay, let's see what we can do here. Um, three, one, and eight. Let me see. Hmm. One, three, eight. Well, here's an eight here, and there's a one. So that has to be a three. And this becomes a one, eight matching pair. Look at all the things we got done just because we use this little technique. Okay, now don't go away. I've got more to show you. I'll be back in a second. Here we are with our second puzzle where we feature a triangle within a block. And in this puzzle, which you could probably solve by yourself without using this technique, but it's nice to know that extra technique, as I said before, we've got a triangle in here of numbers, and we have a triangle over in here. So let's see what we can do with that. Let's do this one first. In this particular one, um, we're looking for the 2, 3, 6. It has to be... It has to be in this area, and it has to be down in here. Let's show you the, the, the easiest one first. Take these three cells, they can't, can't have a two, three, six there, but down here we have a two, a three, and we must have a six down in there. So that was the first one, that was an easy one. Now let's go doing these three 
this row here for these three numbers. Those two, three, six must be there, there, or there. Just so being very lucky, we just got three cells. Sometimes you can have four or five, but when you've just got three cells, you know that those three have to go in there, there, or there. Let's have a look at this now. Two, three, two, three, six. Here's a two, six down in here. So that has to be a three. Okay, now we're left with a two, six. This will be a matching pair over here. Now, before putting two, six, two, six in as a matching pair, keep it in your head. Here is a six, so that has to become a two. And therefore this becomes a six. Now that we've got those done, we can easily work out what these are. And I think if I remember, let me see now. We've got a, a four and an eight uh, and a nine. No, we've got a nine, four, oh, one, two, three, three and four, four, five and eight. Okay, well here's the four, eight. So that becomes a five. So we're left with a four, eight, four, eight in here. But instead of putting the four, eight, four, eight in there, this is the four, so that becomes the eight. And this becomes the four. Now, as a ramification of that, anything, let's have a look. Five, five, look at this, five. Five goes in here, can't there, so the five could go there. Now, what about the eight? The, well, the eight, eight, well, an eight could come down here because there's an eight over here, so we can, all those ramifications can happen once you've done that. Okay, so we're still looking now at this block. When I put this six in, we're now left with only two here, which means it's going to be a matching pair. Now, what, is the, what are the numbers that are missing? We're missing a, a in here we're missing a nine and a one. Well, that's easy to work out. Instead of writing them in, here's a nine, so that becomes the one, and this becomes a nine. And as a result of that, there's only one left in this block, and that is a seven. Look at the amazing number of numbers we got just by doing that. Okay, you'll probably see some more, but when you, I won't finish this puzzle. You can finish it yourself if you wish once I've finished doing this triangle. In this triangle, we're primarily looking again at the two, seven, and the nine. And we're looking at this column here, this row here, which, believe it or not, look, we have two, seven, nine. That's all done, so we don't have to worry about that. Um, what about this column here? We're looking for two, seven, and nine. Here's a two, and here's a nine, so the seven must go there. And what that does is it leaves us with a, a matching pair in here, and that's easy to do because it's a, um, uh, let me see, it's a one and a four. So if that's a one, this becomes the four, and this becomes the one. Wow, we, we, look at all the numbers we got just by using this little technique. I'm going to leave it at there for the time being. You could easily work out just with three numbers here left and two numbers in here left. Um, it's easy. I'll leave it for you to write out write this out on, on, on a piece of paper and, or a grid and do it the, finish it off yourself you can probably see uh, other possibilities I, I can suddenly see this one too as a result of that anyway that's a, that's all I'm going to do so uh, we're going to do one more and this time it is with much more difficult triangle but it's possible to still use this technique don't go away last clip is coming where I talk about a triangle within a block. And in this particular puzzle, which is a more difficult puzzle, um, I'm going to use this block here and this block here. And this, let's take this block to begin with. There's 3, 9, 6. It makes up a triangle. Now, once again, we're looking for a horizontal uh, a row, as it were, and a column where there's three empty cells. And in this one, there's three empty cells in this row, and there's three empty cells down here in this column. And the key again, let me run through the rules again, is that you've got to put, be able to get a three, six, and nine. In, if it's in the row, it's got to be up in this area here. 
and uh, when, the, when it comes to the column, it has to be in this area, in that area, and down in here as well, but not in the middle here. With that in mind, let's try this one out and see what happens. Let's just, for example, we'll start out with um, this one here. Over here, we fortunately, we've got three empty cells in here, so we know we have to have a three, six, and a nine there. Where do they go? Well, here is a three, nine, so that's going to have to be a six. Okay, we'll put the six in. And here we have a six, nine, so that has to be a three. And over here, we have nothing else but to put the nine in. So that was quick and easy, wasn't it? Now, based on this one, let's look up and down, this column. We have down here a 3 and a 9. We don't have a 6. So 6 can go in this section or down in this section. Well, this, this block has already got a 6, so a 6 can't go there or there. A 6 can't go there. The 6 has to go there. That's the only place it can go. So we can put that 6 in up there. Wow. That was really helpful. Now, of course, um, we have now the option of filling in these three here, and they are one, two, three, four. It's a four, uh, and a five, uh, and a seven. Well, four, five, and a seven. Well, here's a five, here's a four, so we're, we're not gonna be able to do that as easy. It doesn't always work. So we have four, five, and we have a four, seven in here, okay? And uh, we have uh, four, five, seven in here. Seven there. And here we have a five, seven. We have a triplet, three by three. Now, as you go further on in the puzzle, they will be solved. So that's, that's that one. Now let's go to this one down in here. We're looking this time at a one, three and a six. Now because we've got three empty cells in the middle here in this, this column, the one, three and six have to be up in here, but we've got four empty cells. See what happens here. Um, and the other way is to go this way, or this direction here. Well it just so happens we have a one, three, six already here, so we don't have to worry. Um, and we don't have to worry about doing that one, but we can do something with this one, I think. I hope to see what we can do. What are the numbers? One, three, and six. Well, we can't have a one in here because there's a one there. We could have a three or a six in there. Let's look it up in here. One, we could have a, ooh, well, we could have a one, three. Oh, look at this. See this cell here? We have a three inside that block, and we have a six right here, so that has to be the one. Very good, that, that really helps us. Now we're left with a three, six. Well, um, if there's, two, uh, there's two ways of doing this, I can think, I see. Yeah, here's a three on the left, here's a three on the right, the three has to be in the middle, and there's a three over here. So that'll have to be the three. And the six is left, and the six cannot go there, the six will have to go there. Six, 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 that works, okay. Very good. This one, well, I can see all kinds of ramifications of what I've just done there. Now, in this particular case, we have an empty cell. We will have to fill in, in that in later on. But the main thing is we got the one, three, and six in that column. So that's it for this, this uh, tutorial. I hope you've uh, got the idea of this technique of the triangle within a block and its different forms. And have fun as you continue on. If you wish to try and finish this puzzle or copy it and put it down, do it yourself, you feel free to do so. It's a little bit more difficult. Have a great month. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.